Das ist ein Video, exklusiv äh, gemacht für äh, die USB-Show in Berlin, Januar 2017 bei Institut für alles Mögliche. Aber als mein Deutsch ein bisschen schwierig ist, äh, will ich äh, lieber Englisch sprechen. So. This is a video made exclusively for the exhibition of USB sticks in Berlin by Institut für alles Mögliche in January 2017. I'm proud to be part of it. And although I'm deceiving you just in this moment, I am looking forward to share a short time together with you uh, in which I will tell you about art, thoughts and also describe for you just now why I like Institut für alles Mögliche so much. It is a, an institute which is very clearly thinking, paving a new road for arts in the future and dealing with a lot of interesting subjects which really enthralls me. Therefore, I'm very glad to be part of the exhibition. And the deception. <laughs> the deception, what's that about? Yeah, you see, uh, I'm a Danish artist. And uh, when you look at me, you might, might, think that I'm an elderly person. You might even think I am old, more than 70 years old. Somebody might mumble in the background, 73 years old, but my friend, you're deceiving yourself. You're looking at a young artist, green as a bean, fighting to get out of this elderly outfit fighting to find new roads into the holy land of art it's so difficult to find just like the land of arts so hard to live in and so wonderful to be a part of so don't be a racist towards age don't think i'm old because i look like that we have something in common we're just working with art. We're just looking for solutions which have to be found and trying to answer some of the questions that are so difficult to answer. I hope for your help. Wish you the best. And as they say in Denmark, may the sun shine on you and all your wishes be fulfilled. And I have a new year to all of you. sales and shipment of huge vast ocean, oceans you have never met you have never mapped sailing just like sailing in the women in a way that is so immense and so strong and so strange so exploring new ways new sights and new voices is what i really really like and what this painting is about where uh, the young model uh, are used in the right side of the painting is standing just under the sails of the seven seas of the uh, buccaneers who lived there many years ago and the merge of the one adventure that existed in those days and the adventure which exists today in the encounter of human beings and uh, all the new things we are living through. This is how the sails and the seas meet. Maybe, but I'm not sure, maybe you are forever. And the voices in the mirror or what is the pictures in the mirror? Being part of a society which is changing all the time. Going from one, one situation to another, not always know 
knowing what is going to happen, sitting in a chair, waiting for the next moment to arrive, that is what the Babylon project is about. One of the more interesting sentences is when the wilderness is gathering all its children back again. And that's what the picture is about. You might also phrase it like, do like they do in Babylon. But anyway, it's an imprint of the changes. The new way of living, the new way of driving yourself to the borders. The new way of maybe passing the border to Mexico or whatever land is lying there. A land of freedom, a land of sexual freedom, a land of freedom of thought, a land of the promise, almost the covenant we have made with each other. That there's no thought we will not think. There might be things we don't do. Any thoughts are open to us. And that's what that painting is about. And what did we find at the end of it? What was the result of so much work? So many new experiments in art, so many roads we followed, and Twix said the birds, have you followed them all? There are a lot of questions in art, there are a lot of questions that I cannot answer for myself. Where are we going? Is painting at the still? Are we going to make installations instead of paintings? How do we express what was not said before? The phrases in pictures and words that have to be conquered and conquered again many, many times because it's not so easy to bring the world to a standstill which is expressed in the paintings. That's difficult for me to see. So if you have any solutions, just let me know. I'll be happy to hear from you. What is the way? How are you going to follow it? How much time is left? And how do we make the painting, the card that is so high and wild that we will never have to paint another? It's the painting, the life. So many questions, so difficult answers, but anyway, green as a bean. Don't forget your deception. Green as a bean.